of the Rainbow Drinks, corner of Hyatt and Church Streets, Richmond. Welcome to Squeal. This is Bent TV on Channel 31. I'm Paul, your host for this evening, and uh, we'll get right on with it now and introduce the rest of our panel. Now, first off, we've got a bit of a... Uh, we did have... We were going to have um, Madeline Swain on as our surprised guest, because she was going to look surprised, but now we have our executive producer, Stephen, who's even more surprised. So oh, welcome, so Stephen. Badly. You had no idea you were going to be on the panel Walked today. Off the so stage. And straight on TV. So that's what can happen if you come and be a Bent TV volunteer. You can walk in off the street and come and sit on and help make television. But we do have the fabulous Madeline Swain with us today. She's not as surprised as she was, because as I said, Stephen has taken over as a surprise guest. So welcome, Madeline. Welcome back to Bent TV. Me. It's been a long time since we've Very nice to be back. had your face gracing our uh, screens. Like and family. our old friend, I say old friend, Meaning, because he's not that old, no, but you were here last week. Yes. Um, it's Renato. Hi, how are you? Very well. Good, Hello. welcome along. Renato, for everyone that doesn't know, is um, involved with Midsummer. What is your actual position at Midsummer? I am Director of Publicity and Entertainment. There you go. And there is one other surprise guest, isn't there? The, the little... Uh, yeah, sorry. The Queen of All. Ms. Zina. Zina. She, she won't be saying special. much, but she, she no, didn't want to come today. So. Because she hasn't been released to here. say anything. She's only oh. here visually. Just so she's going to join us that today. Is that toy shop? Or uh, is that like from the Zena <laughs> fan club or I think, something? Um, no, this was from a very specialist ca um, collector's catalogue. Very special, so she can sit there. She's insured for millions. <laughs> Sorry, Paul. That's okay. It's nice to have Zena along. All right, uh, Renato, first we're going to have a little talk about what went on. We had the uh, starting of the Midsummer Festival. Yes, it weekend. kicked off on uh, Saturday night with the fabulous street party, was, which was on down at Commercial Road in South Yarra, Paran. Uh, kicked off at uh, 5 p.m. Uh, we had various entertainment like roving buskers, and then at 6 p.m. we had 45 dykes on bikes roared oh, really? down the street, which was just down the actual street that everyone was standing on. Down yeah. Commercial Road, so you should have seen people Queen get out of the way. Everywhere. It was fantastic. So, did you have? crowd controllers to move everyone back or were the bikes just... I think the roar of those Harley Davidsons and Ducatis really got people out of the way fast. Mm, um, the thump of a Harley always gets yes. me moving pretty quickly. Um, and I think we've actually got some footage here so um, we might have a look at that straight off and then we'll come back and have a bit more of a talk about what happened. We found culture and here we are with Colotta and the fabulous Miss Millie Minogue. Say hi girls! Hi! Now the complimentary Ben TV vodka shot, yeah? Hello. Say ah. And one for you? Ah. Mm. That I love Melbourne. <laughs> and how, you, how are you finding the event? I love it. I think it's fabulous. I think it's fantastic. I've taken photographs to go back to Sydney and show them how you do it. Well, why don't you take some videos and oh, actually, all those people in Sydney, you can watch us on Optus Vision. Get Optus Vision because you can watch Ben TV and you can see Carlotta in Melbourne at the street party. Don't forget, if you're coming up for Mardi Gras in Sydney, I'm flying Millie up, one of your your most famous... And we love Millie. ...export from Melbourne, and she's appearing in my show at the Hilton Hotel on the 18th of February. Well, look, we'd like to wish you... Oh, there you go, the fabulous Carlotta, and our friend Millie, who's uh, been a guest on the panel here of Squirrel before. And that's she's her heir apparent now. Heir apparent, yeah, Carlotta's heir apparent. Because Carlotta's she been around a, a while, isn't yeah. she? Well, Many I can't think of anyone better to take on mm. Carlotta's uh, crown. If she wants to step aside, I think mm. Millie would be fabulous. Well, it would be doing nice that. to they you do. know, that's a really good thing about midsummer events. Like, you can walk down the street and run into famous people. There were so many famous people down there. 
Names, 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 sweaty. It's just names I think I actually said that one time in the interview. You'll see that in Queer Zone a few weeks from now. So, was there anything like huge that happened last night that you want to talk to us Gordon, about? Lonnie Gordon, the mm. fabulous Lonnie Gordon, the wonderful disco diva from New York. Uh, the Market Hotel sponsored Lonnie to come out, which was sensational. So Lonnie did a few acts uh, on the uh, on the Bob Jane Team Art stage uh, initially. I had to drive down and pick Lonnie up from the Como Hotel in a hire car. And as all my friends know, I'm a terrible driver. <laughs> and I'm a very nervous driver as well. So you should have seen me going down Chapel Street picking Lonnie Gordon up and then uh, she went to the Market Hotel later on and performed a few more songs so it was sensational mm. she's really a great performer yeah busy busy woman last night by the sounds of things as well um, uh, did you have a late night very late night. I was very tired. Mm. I went to the market afterwards and uh, I got my foot run over by a shopping trolley <laughs> in the Trolley Dolly Stolly Folly Race, which was sensational. Did you have to practice saying that for a long time? And no, Trolley Dolly Stolly Race. That's Susie Stolly. Wicks, the uh, street party coordinator. Yeah. She thought of that. But that was a sensational event. You would have seen it, Stephen, yeah, where we powerful. had about eight contestants. We had drag queens, a couple of guys, a marching girl as well, two marching girls who had to wheel their trolley around commercial road. It was like a combination race and scavenger hunt. They had to pick up a serviette from the Blue Elephant, uh, a coaster from uh, the Market Hotel, a tyre from Bob Jane T-Marts, put it all in their <laughs> trolley, <laughs> Uh, like these drag queens in their high heels and feather boas and the tram tracks, quite a nasty combination. Absolutely. And, and a bit of rain as well. Didn't yes, it? It and was the rain so the track was a bit slippery and they also had to get a ch handful of charcoal from the Exchange Hotel, oh. which everyone knows had a oh. bit of a fire. So people are actually coming back with handfuls it's of charcoal. Yes. How frightening. Yeah, it's like what? the Berlin Wall grabbing a piece. It is. Mm. Memory the Berlin Wall Exchange, the Berlin Wall Exchange, mm. yeah. <laughs> no, and the annals of history. Wall <laughs> Exchange, Exchange is a bit of a, a, an icon. It's a bit of an I mean, it's been around for a while. Yes. I'm sorry, I didn't grab a bit of charcoal. Now that I think about it, and it has kept people out and divided. Yeah. Oh, is that a good thing? Is that a good thing? Well, I don't know. So what, what happened? Now I've missed the news this week. I've sort of been spending a lot of time in. Now what mm. happened to the exchange? Well, apparently it's cigarette bars. Um, landed on, on a sofa. Landed on a sofa just shortly after they closed, or you know, around about the time they closed, and then the next minute, yeah. poof, so to speak. A poof, friend so of mine was actually at the Prince of Wales. Hello to Reuben Barenberg and Danny Nong. I'm sure you're watching. You've got clear, very clear reception because you're close to the television transmitter. Uh, he was down at the Prince of Wales Hotel, and there was a blackout. They lost electricity at, I think it was about 10 o'clock, so they left and said, where will we go? We'll go to the exchange. Then they were there half an hour and they're having a drag show at Disco Inferno and suddenly the manager is saying, everybody get out, get out, there's a fire. So they left that as well. The, act, the number that was on the show. Yes, oh, apparently oh, so. Oh, they so were going to go to the Peel, but they thought they'd just taken it over the top, I think. So is this, is, is this a suspicious circumstance? Is there a black, blackout in one venue and then a, a fire in the next? Conspiracy. And it wasn't Friday the 13th, either, was it? Because no, Friday was yeah, actually 14th, yes. Look, can we just say, uh, our, send our condolences to the exchange staff and Kevin Atwood. Look, it's a real tragedy that this has happened. We just hope that you get things back together and, yeah. you know, and your eyebrows grow we'll support you when you get back in action. I believe you're opening again on next Friday. I, hopefully that'll happen. And yep. We'll still and keep on coming to the exchange. Any of you girls that have lost dresses and wigs too. Candy lost three wigs and three outfits apparently. Yeah. I'm sure the others Sorry did. guys, I'm just going to cut everyone off here because we need to have a look at another piece of footage otherwise we're going to run out of some time. So keep your thoughts and we'll come back. <laughs> Fine, I'm having a wonderful time. Good to see you. you got your face happening again. I love your eyelids. They're gorgeous. Oh, thanks. A bit of peacock blue matches the headdress. Oh, wow. Yeah. It goes all the way up to the sky. Yeah, yeah. The wind's taken off with it a few times. It's heaven. But peacocks don't fly. I do. <laughs> fly, read, uh, fly Paris, fly Rita. I did that last time I called you Rita. Oh, I know. That's all right. Did you see yourself on telly? Um, yeah, I did. Did you enjoy it? Oh, yes. I always love my own image. And do you watch Ben TV? Yes, I do, of course, every Monday at 9 o'clock. What's Ben TV? You can see 
Paris and Rita and Candy and Barbara and all of them here on Ben TV. So you must watch out for Paris tonight. I spent days on her outfit and she looks fantastic. Where is she? Well, she's making a late entrance. She's always like that. Fashionably late. You know, you're such a talent behind all the all the costumes. Like I've seen some of the costumes that come out on stage that you've been sitting there at the sewing machine sewing away. Like, bloody hours, hours of it. It's ridiculous. Well, it's a credit to you and I just like to thank I you. To, I used to love it. I hate it now. Sitting at that fucking sewing machine. But anyway. Well, look, when you've got a talent, you've got to work it, I say. You get it done. Get the job done, you know. Well, look, I hope you enjoy yourself. Have a happy mis midsummer. I will. Happy midsummer to all bent viewers. Oh, there you go. That sounds, looks like it was a lot of fun, Stephen. Hobnobbing with the celebs. I love it. Just love it. Yeah. And you had that a good night? It was outside the market, actually. It was so crowded and it was so hot. I, all I wanted to do was have a drink, but of course I couldn't because I had to. No drinking on the job. Oh, no. Did the moisture put people off? It wasn't raining heavily. It was only like little tiny... Mm. It's very steamy. Very lucky. And it was Thank still you quite God, God, And yeah. actually, I was <laughs> sort of quite happy God. that it did um, turn out to be a bit a bit watery because I, was, I would have been forced to wear a singlet that I'd been wearing already for a day and so it meant that I could wear my new t-shirt and so I was really quite pleased that it was around. I thought oh I can wear my new t-shirt so you wore it again today for continuity well <laughs> yeah I didn't know that I was going to be actually here and I thought well I'll just wear it to work and then next minute I come from here oh look I Bob's should be so cruel you wore three of them didn't you that, he did actually I always carry three t-shirts wherever yeah. I go you know very wise. <laughs> now one of the main reasons we've got you back on again today yes. is to talk about the up and coming events I so, thought you um, just wanted to see me. Oh, well, well, we yeah, want to I'll talk let you about a secret later up. about who with, wanted to uh, see you, but anyway. With Midsummer, uh, we've got some wonderful things happening this week, everyone. We've got a wonderful forum called Baby Talk, which is on uh, this Sunday on a chapel off chapel. So for all you gay men and lesbians there, if you've ever thought about having children and raising children, then it's a great opportunity to come along and participate uh, in the forum. When you say raising children, you're not referring back to the exchange. It's not so, okay. not those sort of no, raising no, children. No, raising no. Okay. So uh, the other thing we've got on is the Mass Debate, which is on at the National Theatre in St Kilda. And the topic is, it's what's on the outside that counts. So that's on at 7.30pm. Uh, in our literature program this week, we have Kosher Queer, which is on at the Market Hotel at 7.30pm. And it's a night of reading and performances by Jewish artists. Uh, in our performing arts program, we have a Midsummer's Night Scream, which is with the leader of the pack who performed at Street Party. Uh, they're performing at Chapel Off Chapel as well. Then we should have a, give a very quick plug to the Minus 18 event that we spoke briefly about last week. So for all you gay men and lesbians, if you're under 18 and you do have to show ID to get in, Paul, so you won't be able to make it. <laughs> um, yes, Penelope, yes, Penelope. with Miss the fabulous She's Miss fabulous. Penelope. That's on at the Market Hotel at 6 p.m. Then a fabulous thing that I'm sure we'll all be going to, the fabulous Stella Constellation will be giving us a tour of the new aquarium. And you've got a photo of that in there if you want to quickly go. Oh, I have, so I have too. the new too. aquarium, that's on Thursday night at 7.30 p.m. Wow. Is that Stella? I don't know if you can get that. Yeah. Can you zoom well, in? Well, thanks for that, Renato. We're mm. um, slow, quickly running out of time here. Right. So we might... Um, I just want to uh, make a quick plea for all uh, you guys to uh, ring up and volunteer for uh, to become a Bent TV volunteer, um, and I'll show you the details for that. When we come back, right after this break, grab yourself a cuppa, come back and see us soon. You are born to die. 